Hello humans, my name is Kalen Chase, and today I'm going to tell you about one of my wild and crazy tour stories. This uh, happened while I was touring with the band Korn, which was one of the best uh, experiences of my life. I love those guys very much, and I had a great, great, great time. So I'd been in the band for about two years and some change, and I had become known for doing outrageous things on stage. It started with a simple jump in the audience at the end of the show and management and everybody loved it. And the band was very supportive and oh, the crazy albino guys doing crazy things. So uh, I began to try to one up myself and with the encouragement and uh, when, when your bosses and the people who sign your checks ask you to do crazy things, you wanna do crazy things. And I liked it. So I'm not acting like I was forced into this. So as the shows progressed and as the time progressed, I kept getting crazier and crazier. Jumping off catwalks, uh, jumping through drum sets, uh, jumping over members of the band, competing with other people on who could jump off the highest thing. It escalated to the point of insanity. Um, and the fans ate it up and management ate it up and uh, I liked it. So fast forward to Mexico City 2008. Uh, at this point, I escalated to the finale of the show where everybody's going crazy. We played, we played the song Blind, of course, at the end. and uh, I would climb rigging ladders and hang upside down as far up as I could get, like 70, 80, whatever I could do. And I would hang upside down and scream into the wireless mic and flip off the audience. Um, and this was super fun. But in Mexico City, one of the local uh, people put the rigging ladder that I normally climbed... Uh, which wasn't for me to climb. It was just for the setup. Uh, it was not attached properly because they didn't think anyone was using it. So uh, I climbed this ladder at the end of the show and immediately feel that little bing and time stops and I begin to fall, holding on to the ladder for a while and then uh, uh, not holding the ladder. And the next thing I know, I smashed into concrete. And the next thing I know, that metal uh, flexible ladder is da, 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 all on on me so uh i'm now in shock the wind's knocked out of me the songs are any the band can't really see what's going on uh one of the bodyguards runs up to me uh helps me up well, i forced him to help me up because he was going to get a stretcher so i managed to walk to the the uh ambulance that they said they were just going to give me a quick checkup uh i'm trying to wave like princess uh dire queen elizabeth to the uh, fans i do this all for you trying to be, but I'm, I'm not feeling great. I think it's all just the wind knocked out of me, bruising. I didn't realize how far I had fallen. So I get into the ambulance, they're checking me up and Jonathan runs over and he's like, dude, are you all right? You fell like 50 feet. It turns out it's probably more like 30. We don't know exactly, but uh, it was far. And um, I told him I was fine. And he's like, okay, they're taking you to the hospital. I was like, no, 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 I'm fine. And then the ambulance guys say, uh, it's, it's uh you have to it's the law now that you've been in the ambulance you have to go for a checkup so i don't know if it was shock or just young in, impetuousness but i freaked out to the point where they're they've restrained me uh and they they're worried that i'm going to do more damage so my head is restrained my arms are strapped in and i'm screaming profanity at these people and then the person who was raised properly said i apologize guys i'm hoping it's shock uh, but i'll kill you all so it was they're trying not to laugh, although I was looked pretty bad. So we get to a hospital, and I loved Mexico City, um, but let's not lie. I don't know if there's better hospitals there, but the one I went to was definitely the C Squad. Um, and I say this because several things had happened. First thing, when they take me to the x-ray, they forgot about me. And the lights are turned off. And they forgot about me for an hour and a half, roughly. So I'm sitting here in a massive amount of pain. Hello? And the lights, literally halfway through, the lights just turned off. So I'm like, oh, okay, this is my life now. So I'm in a wheelchair. The second thing that's probably irresponsible was uh, that I had a morphine drip to, attached to me. Now, that is a controlled thing that they can do, and there's a key or something, a lock on it. I'm not sure because in my pain, I realized that I could do it myself. I could do it myself. And I did. I am not condoning this behavior, but I wasn't in my right mind. But I'll tell you, after a while, with uh, my own physicianing, I was not feeling that much pain. 
So apparently what had happened is my bones were fused together from the swelling of my, my back muscles and ribs and, and from being hit. So the x-ray came back. This is another strike in my mind saying uh, it was a partial fracture of the floating rib that they couldn't do anything about and everything else was fine. But actually, five ribs were broken. And as the swelling went down, I was walking uh, in the venue the next day because I had to play the next day, and I did. I just heard a... And I dropped to the ground in some of the most intense pain of my life. Uh, John came running back, the singer, Jonathan Davis, who is one of my dearest friends. And he was like, dude, are you going to be able to play? I was like, it's my job. I'm doing it. Young, dumb. I didn't jump off anything. But over the next couple hours and during the show the other uh three ribs would pop and i drop pop then i drop and i was holding on to my mic for dear life singing which hurt it hurt to breathe the good thing other than the morphine drip was that i uh had just purchased uh, some really high-end tequila that i was going to give as gifts that was now my medicine because my ribs apparently weren't broken they gave me some strong tylenol in mexico i couldn't find proper painkillers and i'm not talking about abusing drugs i'm talking about using them for what they're designed for i took so many of those tylenols that my stomach started hurting um and in the van john made the mistake of ordering some fast food and my stomach was so sick from the over medication of weak pills that i puked in my derby hat and it's not this hat that hat went in the garbage, which was the hat I'd owned for 10 years. So I was pretty pissed in Mexico. Um, I ended up playing the rest of the tour, slowly healing, doing what I could. Um, it kind of impaired some of my, my rocking, but I came back strong on the next one. Be careful what you climb, kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.